what happens if there was a breakaway, and unfortunately we've seen this in the Republic of Ireland, is that the British identity gets pushed out, it gets suppressed, and it doesn't get talked about, and you've got to keep your head down and shut up, basically. And we don't want that in Scotland, so the Union is the best way of allowing multiple identities to rub along together. We're not always necessarily going to agree with each other, but at least we can rub along together. We can swim about, as I always say, in the big British pond, and we can swim past those that we don't necessarily want to engage with. But take us out and put us into a goldfish bowl, then we do what fish do in a goldfish bowl, which is we start eating each other. So we don't want that, okay? So the, the, the union is a great way of allowing everybody to swim around in the big British pond. Of course, economically, as, as Alex Massey points out here in, um, in his article, the same sort of economic arguments uh, which existed back in 1707 also exist today. And billions of pounds come from the British central bank to, to, uh, to all parts of the United Kingdom. And we've seen that in the, the crisis of the last 18 months as well. So it's a union that, as Massey says here, infringes no sense of identity while offering greater prosperity. And that's a bargain worth accepting. So I hope that was a wee answer, Cami Koss, to your point of view. And you see there, Cam's come back and says, goodbye, British identity. You see, that's what we're dealing with. That's a pity. That's a pity, because that's a man who will not allow the rest of us to be British if he got his way. And I'm afraid, Cam, that's not a democratic point of view. And uh, it's not a sustainable point of view. And it's not one that we can that we can accept, you know. And so it's best that we have the union so that folks like you don't try to push out folks like me.